May 1978, short and English junior grade. Get ready for the dictation. 10 seconds. 5 seconds. Start. Ladies and gentlemen, I am glad to be present here today to inaugurate the fifth annual meeting of the Central Social Welfare Board. Ever since the formation of this board, I have been in touch with it and with its activities. I have considered social work as a subject of great importance and I have been much impressed by the work done so far. I am glad that the Planning Commission and the Ministry of Community Development have attached great importance to the work of the Social Welfare Board. The work of the board has been very difficult, but it has far reaching effect. We have had social workers in India doing good work. However, there was no proper coordination between various social service agencies. Large areas had been left untouched. The good work of the Social Welfare Board suggests that a certain change is taking place in this country at the present time. A social revolution includes everyone, but it mainly relates to women. If the women do not change, social life remains more or less the same. One of the most important changes that are taking place in India today is the change among women of India. It has occurred to a great extent in regard to women in cities and towns. It has also begun in rural parts of our country. Once it spreads adequately in the villages, this social revolution will bring tremendous results even in our political movement for freedom. Women in India joined it in considerable number. This gave the movement a real strength. From any point of view, the progress achieved by women is of the greatest importance. The Social Welfare Board is not only doing good work in the sense of social reform, but it is doing even more important work in the sense of bringing about social revolution in India. It is a continuous process. In the past, this work was confined largely to the educated section. But a real difference has now been made. The masses of our population who are in need of a change are now made to take active part in social welfare activities. The chairman has told us that special attention should be paid to the education of girls and women. I think that 
social welfare work can be carried out successfully in a voluntary and non official way with official help and guidance thank you letter from the manager swami publications limited madras to the managing director james brothers limited madras sir we are planning to bring out a book on the history of local industries we know that your company is one of the largest established concerns in the city we feel it should find a prominent place in the proposed book we have done a fair amount of background research into the development of industry in this city we hope this would be of much use in preparing the book we are now writing to individual companies to request their help in this endeavor we would be grateful therefore if you could let us have a copy of any literature you may have on the history of your company giving details of its foundation and founder members we would also be highly thankful if you could permit us to visit your company to have a first hand information about your company yours sincerely